They say access to markets is actually the problem. But with much humility, I beg to differ because access to market is not my challenge. My challenge is finding credible, qualified, and competent people to be able to execute the orders that I have for access to markets. Hi, my name is Faustina Mani, spelled F-O-S-T-I-N-A, Faustina. Last name is Mani, as in cash, but spelled M-A-N-I. Faustina Mani. I am the Global Trade Engagement Director at Better Grains. I'm also the founder of Mothers of Africa Mobile Soko, and I'm responsible for facilitating trade for farmers, traders, women in agribusiness, and youthful professionals. And by youthful, I mean the youth, the mature, and the retired. Today, I want to take some time to talk about our, our reseller repositioning and distribution program. We have received very many questions about the program, and today I wanted to take some time to just explain um, why we launched the program and why it's important for us. So as many of you may know, we have a website which is called, we call www.bettergrains.com. It's a, it's a website that I designed to start providing market information for farmers and traders because I was getting a lot of calls on, on market prices and I realized many people did not do that. The intentions and the purpose of the, of the website was simply to, pro to provide market information. We eventually uh, uh, went on to do trade analysis where we were able to advise our farmers on the movement of grains and cereals. With time, what we realized was happening is many people started reaching out to us in terms of seeking markets as well as providing markets. So we have buyers and sellers who have reached to us. This is not your normal random internet query, but these are vetted, recognized uh, traders and buyers who are willing to engage in actual, in actual um, grain trade. So the orders were then we started executing. We have access to farmers. We have access to, to, to traders, both buyers and sellers. We also have access to women in agribusiness and we have uh, professionals from NGOs and other organizations that are looking to, to work with us. But this is the challenge that we kept on having. Every time we wanted to execute an order, we, we, we begin to realize that um, both the buyers and the sellers do not know the grades and standards, number one. The second thing is they don't know quite a bit of the activity. Yes, they have the head knowledge of what it would take to do an export or an import, but the actual technicality, the experience, they really lack. And as an experienced trader, one of the things I kept on uh, getting frustrated is I realized that I'm having to explain the process over and over again. And the truth is, it's one thing to tell someone about a process and quite another to to be able to get them to deliver. So uh, a lot of our buyers and a lot of our sellers uh, kept dropping the ball. Allow me to speak about the African side. Let's start with the smallholder farmers. We have many organizations that have reached out to us and they want us to, to be of take us for their farmers. Unfortunately, the, the leaders or even the people who've been uh, delegated to to facilitate the trade for the farmer groups, organized groups, have never traded before. So they lack um, knowledge in terms of uh, fluctuating market prices. They lack knowledge in terms of trade. And so we, we keep finding that the going back and forth is taking longer and we're not really able to uh, effectively execute, not to mention the other trade uh, tools that are required. So we realized the ball kept on dropping, kept on dropping, and not just on the African side. Uh, we have various commercial attaches that have reached out to us from, from very many countries. Uh, but our challenge is that even on that other side, when we start interacting with them, we realize that they also don't understand the African market, and sometimes they don't even know what the, the grades and standards are. And so we found ourselves in a very unique uh, position because as much as we want to facilitate the trade, we've realized that it's very difficult to, to get people who know what they're doing, number one, with actual experience. The second key thing is integrity. Um, there's lack of integrity in the sector, uh, both from the buyers and sellers, both in and outside of Africa, because some of them are just asking you to give quotations, but they really there's no really intention to be able to sell. 
and so we found ourselves in this in these situations that we hadn't really anticipated and so uh, the demand kept on becoming too much and at some point we decided okay uh, let's spin off a business which we are going to start doing trade facilitation and that's why now the reseller program um, comes in so why the reseller repositioning number one there's a misconception that anybody can do agricultural commodity trade that is not true we need experience we are second generational traders who've been in the cereal business since 1968 our father started it and then we are we are continuing with the business we target the the middle to the bottom of the pyramid we are ta our target and focus is mass market we sell unbranded cereals we really are focusing on the open market because our, our open sack concept because our, our idea is we, we want to feed africa masses we want to make food affordable and so what we've realized is that as many people as there are who have the finances who have the backup who have uh, the, the good will lack the capacity and so the requests have been many and we can't we can't be able to to execute because we don't even know who we can trust yes we've vetted very many companies we have uh, uh, their certificates we have the carry pins or the tax pins but we still find that we lack a certain um, capabilities and capacities and so that's why we launched the reseller repositioning program we are looking for just 10 10 individuals and what we will do in these 10 individuals we will take them through the first part of the of the training of the reseller repositioning pro, uh, program what are we really hoping to achieve number one the first thing is we need to find people of it, integrity we need to we need to find people who who will do what what is right and that is really big because uh, global trade and especially if we're dealing with uh, container sizes requires quite sub substantial money and if you cannot be a person of integrity then i'm sorry we're not going to be able to do with you but how are we going to find out if you're a person of integrity business is trust i'm not just going to get up and give an order to someone who i do not know so one of the reasons why we require that you, 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 you join the reseller program is because we want to know you. The simplest and the best way I can define it is to ask you to think of it as dating. Because our goal is to build legacy African businesses, we're looking at businesses that will be able to do long-term uh, business partnerships with them. We're actually building legacy 2063 uh, business, African businesses in line with the uh, Agenda 2063. We're talking about 42 years from now. We need to be able to do business. Think of it as a marriage. If I'm looking for a marriage partner who I'll be able to, uh, to spend the rest of my life with, the first thing I need to do is I need to coach you. I need to be able to spend time with you. I need to be able to assess your strengths, your weaknesses. I need to see what, what your temperament is. I need to understand if we have a, a shared vision and a shared goal. I need to be able to, to look at your giftings and talents, to see the resources you have. I'm not looking for a perfect partner, but I, I need to see what can I work with and what can I not work with. The beauty of the reseller position is because we are really interested in in, in finding out more about you. Yes, we agree there's a misconception where everybody thinks that they can actually do grain trade, but the truth that is not. However, does that mean that you cannot trade? No. If your expertise is in logistics, then we will strategically give you that position of uh, handling our, our logistical components. If your if your if your skills and your strengths are in project management, then we have programs that will be able we can assign you for you to be able to 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 to, to execute on that end. If you're a trader, we will be able to look at your capacity, see what are you able to do, and then we will leverage on the capacities that we have, and we will be able to assist you and facilitate you accordingly. So my issue is not that you cannot trade. My issue is I need people with actual experience. I need people of integrity and I need to know you. There is no way we can do business if I do not know you. That is obvious. So the purpose of the program is to do that, to know you. What will we be tackling? We will be tackling things like faith. Um, we're not teaching Christian faith. We're not about converting anybody, but we need to talk about value, core values. Integrity is a core value. We need to be able to receive it. We don't, we don't, we're not really focused on, 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 
if you're a Muslim or no, we are a global company and we want to work with global partners, people of integrity. You could be a Muslim, you can handle an Islamic market. Again, the issue is integrity for us. We're not about uh, uh, changing people, but we want to work with people of integrity. The second thing um, that we, we, we want to tackle is we want to build long-term business partnership. If I can get a supplier from Nigeria, I want to work with that supplier and give them repeat business. I want to invest in them. I want to be able to grow with them. If they come and work with me and I'm able to identify what their skills are and what their weaknesses are, I'm able to build their capacity. So for us, key is we need to be able to to, to know more about you, your dreams, your visions, your aspirations. We will help you get clarity on what it is that you need to do on the agricultural value chain. In addition to that, we are also going to be offering technology. As much as people say they don't like social media, the truth is, if you want to sell to the world, you need to get on social media. And there's actually a science behind how you market yourself and communicate to the rest of the world. We will be able to build your capacity, not just on the social media uh, uh, space, but also to give you tools and techniques that will be able to help you to operate efficiently. So that's the second. The third thing, we want to be able to work with you so that you can build uh, very clear strategic plans with timelines. If we're going to give you an order, we want to see your capacity. We need to train you to see how will you be able to monitor your turnaround, your return on investments. How will you be able to caution yourself against fluctuating market prices? That is the core purpose of the reseller reposition and position. So, like dating, we need to know you. We need to know you. I can't really emphasize that. It's not good enough. I need to know you. I need to see if we can actually do business. Like in marriage, you need to be able to look at someone's face and say, can I wake up with this face for the next 42 years? What will our children look like? And that is really the core purpose of the reseller repositioning uh, program. That's the first part of it. So what happens if after the 12 weeks, uh, the program will be a 12 week program. It's an incubation, incubation program. It will be done online. The classes will be online and you can do it at your, at your, at your speed or your, your comfort level or at your convenience. So what happens? One of the questions I've been asked, what happens is after 12 weeks, I'm still not clear on what uh, to do. The beauty of the program is you will have a community of people who will support you. If after 12 weeks you're not, not really managed to figure out what it is that you will need to do, we will still be there available as a community to help you. However, while we will not be doing the online training sessions, the content will be available for you to do replays, to go over the training materials, to be able to understand what it is that you need to do. We will give you time. Thirdly, you have, so you'll have the access to the training material for six months. So what happens even after six months and you still don't have it? There's an alumni, you will always be part of a community that will be able to give, to work with you and still give you time to go and do whatever it is that you need to do. So you're totally not left alone. Uh, but it's it's the beauty about the program, it's not theory. It's more of um, a self-assessment, more of it's more work that you actually do on yourself. It's not theory. You're not coming for us to, to talk at you. You're coming so that you can learn more about yourself and you can also learn more about us. If at the end of the 12 week program you feel like you do not want to continue working with us, that is fine. But by the time you leave that, that component of the, of the program, you will be well equipped to be able to still go out and use the skills that you have acquired to, to, to make uh, an income for yourself within the agricultural space. The second part of the component is a more difficult part. And that is the distributor distribution program, part of the component. We are looking for distributors. And if I'm going to work with you as a distributor, I need to be able to have very tough conversations with you. I need to be able to talk about finance. I need to talk about your financial goals. I need to talk to you about growth. We need to have very difficult conversations on why you're not making money or why you're losing money. Our experience is that um, most Africans in general, and especially women, we don't like talking uh, well. We don't like putting numbers to, 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 to our target. We, don't, we are quiet. 
we desire to do uh, business, but we're not really very strategic and very clear on what our financial goals are. So the distribution, this, this distribution component of the program is exactly that. If I'm going to give you a distribution, and I'm giving you this distribution so that you can be able to do repeat business, will you be able to maintain that relationship long term? Will you be able to maintain that relationship long term? Will you be willing to invest yourself into growing so that you can be able to sustain and grow that business long term? Our goal is we want to create generational wealth. We are second generational um, uh, traders. We are hoping that we will be able to create legacy businesses that can be run from second to third to fourth generation. And that is why this is very important for us. We must know you. We need to know if we can work with you. We need to know if you want to leave a legacy work where your children will be able to pick up that, that, that business and move on with it. So I hope that uh, sheds a lot of light in terms of what the reseller repositioning program is like. Many of them ask, many of the people ask, so what are the benefits to me? Well, the benefit is long-term repeat business. You don't have to go looking for other, 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 other suppliers. This is business that is guaranteed to you. It's up to you to do it. The third thing is, we're looking for people of integrity. We're looking for people we can grow with. We're looking to build legacy businesses. And so um, that's what we're looking to do. Many of them are, many of people ask, is it free or is it, are you paying for it? We are, we are not donor funded, we are a private company. So we are looking for individuals who want to invest in themselves. Like they say, there is no romance without finance. It takes us time to get off our business schedule to come and develop you. The price that we are asking for is very, very minuscule. When you look at uh, the fact that you're, we, we, we did our calculations and we realized within the first consignment, your return on investment by investing in the program is about six point, six point something. If you take if, if for the first consignment that you do, if you take it for two consignments, it would actually be even, even, you'd even it would even increase. But that is only for the first cohort that we are, we are, we are taking in because we are, we are offering um, the, the, the program at a, at a subsidized price. But for the second cohort, the return on investment is, a, is about 3.1, I believe. And the reason why it's at that value is because the price of the program will go up. So that is why we are not looking for very many people. We are looking for just 10. The other benefit of the program is that by the time you are done, you will be able, you will be equipped to actually go out and develop other, other, other resellers who will be able to, to help you facilitate your orders. In other words, uh, for example, if you are a, you're a trader, uh, by the time we are done with the program, you should be able to go out and look for other youth or other smaller traders than you whom you can, you can also train and develop so that you can increase your ability to be able to meet your orders. So in a nutshell, those are the benefits that come. Yes, we are charging the, the, for the program. We are not donor funded. The price of the program will be, will be shared on the link below. And then also what I would advise you to do is to visit uh, www.faustinamoney.com slash reseller slash positioning forward slash i will also indicate the link below so that you can visit that um, the page and find out more about the program so i hope this um, sheds um, a lot of light and clarity on what we are doing again we are not uh, donor funded this is not uh, short term this is the sustainable we're talking about 42 years so we are serious we can't take everyone but we are also able, we want to work with people who are willing to invest in, in themselves. You cannot tell me, if you, you cannot tell me that you want to do international and global trade if you're not willing to invest in yourself. Investment is how I measure your commitment and your seriousness. I'm sure we've all had, when someone gives you something for free, you don't take it seriously. But when you have had to sacrifice and work for it, and it costs you money, then your commitment levels are on that level. And so that is the sort of uh, partners and, and people that I'm looking to work with. And, and I hope you will sign up. 
uh, because we're serious we don't want to do business as usual we don't want uh, this is not a program where we are coming to talk at you no we are in dialogue we want to know each other we want to find out about each other we want to grow together when you identify what my weaknesses are i'm looking for someone who will be able to step in with their strengths and take uh, and, and i can leverage on their strengths to cover up for my weaknesses i'm also looking for people who are weak so that they can leverage on my strength to be able to to do business so like i said the key thing the number one thing is integrity 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 we need to work together we need to dialogue so that we can we can find out about each other the second thing is trust we need to to to, to be able to 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 to, to do long-term business we're talking about 40 42 years from now the third thing there is no way you can tell me that you're interested in doing international trade if you're not willing to invest in yourself to learn how to effectively execute it. When I calculated the cost of the training, it basically comes to about two shillings on the first con consignments that we we'll do. People have asked what are the return, uh, the, the profit margins like. For one one client that we have, we did a calculation and we realized for one container, you, you have the capacity to be able to make um, six thousand US dollars on the first day. So I hope that um, helps clarify any questions that you have. And so what we'd ask you to do is please subscribe so you can be notified every time we have a new video out. Thank you for listening to me and God bless you and I look forward to working with you.